Good day, mate. Guys and girls, now this is my Chinese saw. It's a Titan Tech saw. The build quality is very good in these saws. That's why I mark it around them. Now, stroke affected mine has funny, funny ideas. So I thought I'd share. The first adjustable muffler. So you can actually adjust the hole to see um, what the saw will do. I'll give you a demonstration. So I can make it bigger or smaller. Now it's coming small. So now I can work out what the go is, how much exhaust hole you actually physically need for these Chinese things. So I've got 45, 52, 58, 58 and this one's a 62. But um, I've got just didn't clean all up yet. Got a lock nut there, which is locked up. Um, but this will actually regulate what the go is. With True Blue, it was had a big hole muffle like this, but it was um, overdrafting the motor. So now I can work out what the go is now. With a big muffler, the motor's a hell of a lot quieter. It's not blurting like crazy. But the blurt noise is actually the sound waves backing back against the motor or the piston, I think. And that's what causes the motor to run. It's like, it's like I would say, a valve. If you want to put it bluntly, it's the, the sound wave acting as the valve, throwing the fuel back into the cylinder when the transfer is open. But how big is a hole you actually need? So do we need a small hole of that, or do we need a bigger hole? So I can wind back out now. I can make a bigger hole. I can wind it all the way open if I want to. So I can actually adjust that. Now I worked out with True Blue that the muffler acts like a, a um, what do you call it? Blowdown timing. So you don't really have to grind on the cylinder itself if you get the hole on the exhaust right. So when the guys open up the exhaust for um, a standard motor, that it can work, but you need to increase the fuel and air at the other end. So if we grind the intake, um, and transfers, you don't have to touch the exhaust. Now that's what I'm trying to work out. If you can do that, there's no problems with um, grinding and um, chamfering and stuff like that. But um, I just thought I'd show you guys. I'm going to do a 372 soon and work out what size it actually needs. My son with a big block, I put two holes. It works, but I'm thinking it needs a small hole in one of the exhausts. But um, I just thought I'd share it because, you know, if we all share our ideas... We can work things out easier. All right, guys and girls, thanks for watching.